Hey everybody, Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. I was taking my goats for a walk down the road and I started to notice that there's a lot of this American beauty berry growing around here. So today I want to show you some of the things that we can do with American beauty berry. But first I want to give you an update of what's been going on here. Say hi, Happy. Well, as you can see, I planted some grass and it started growing, so that's really exciting. I wasn't sure if it was gonna take in the shade, but it looks like it's doing well. The other day, I noticed that there was something that was eating away at the plastic food container I have some of the goat feed stored in. I thought it was a squirrel, because I saw a squirrel hanging out here, but I set out a trap, and let me show you what we caught. A big old rat. I bought a live trap because I don't like to kill animals for no reason. So I'm gonna bring them down the road uh, far away from here and let them go. Hi Duncan, hi Buster. You guys excited about the grass? Rocky might be a television star. We were contacted by a talent agent and she asked if I had any goats that would do tricks. So Rocky volunteered and we might be flying out to California at the beginning of next year to do a little tiny segment on a show. So you can see the goats are doing good. Everybody's adjusting well. American Beauty Berry grows these bright clusters of purple berries along the stem right where these leaves grow out. To collect the leaves today, I'm just gonna use a regular Publix bag. And for the berries, I'm gonna use a milk jug, but first I'm gonna cut this top off. So when you're doing these berries, you don't have to pick each individual berry off one by one. That'll take forever. So what I do is just kind of hold the jug underneath there, rub against that whole cluster. There we go. You'll probably get some leaves and stems inside your bucket, but that's okay. We'll take them out later. Today we're only going to gather like five cups so I can make a concentrated juice to use later on in different recipes. This way. Earlier in the season, the berries aren't as purple. They're like a muted purple with a little bit of green. They're ripest when you see a bright purple cluster like this. I found some berries that are a little bit past their peak. You can still harvest these. You can harvest them all the way up until they're brown, but these may not taste as good. You could eat the berries right off the plant when they're ripe like this, but you don't want to put a whole lot in your mouth because they're very dry. They taste sort of uh, like a flower. It's like as if you were to eat a flower petal. It's not the best, but you know, it's pretty good. Not like a strawberry raspberry or anything like that. Hopefully the juice turns out good. The leaves take a little bit longer to process, so I'm gonna work on those first. They contain three different types of chemicals that repel insects like mosquitoes. The first is calicarpinol, then there's intermediol, and then spathulinol. I found a few recipes online for the insect repellent. The one that we're gonna do is probably the easiest and the quickest. So you're gonna chop up these leaves, put them in a jar, pour some boiling water over it, let it stand for four to six hours. So let's do that first. I just realized we could probably just tear these up and it would do the same as chopping them. So we'll do that instead. When we were picking the berries, I noticed that there were spiders in the clusters, and I also noticed that 
No bugs have eaten any of the leaves. Nothing that I saw out there was chewed up. Now we're gonna make the beauty berry juice, which can be used later for tea, jams, jellies, other types of flavoring. And what you do is you mix one part of berry to one part water, and then you boil it for about 20 minutes. The berries are starting to lose their color. Look at that. All right, so this is done boiling. I'll shut that off. I'm going to pour it through a strainer into a French press and then I'm going to press it to get the rest of the smaller sediment out and pour it into these jars. Those jars of juice have got to cool down a little bit before I put them in the fridge. So in the meantime, I'm going to clean this up. Something I forgot to mention earlier was, is if you're out in the woods and you find a beauty berry plant and you've got mosquitoes bugging you, you could take the leaves, crush them up in your hand and rub them on your skin like this. And that'll help keep the bugs away. Everything's cleaned up, so I'm going to try some of this juice before it cools all the way. It's still warm like a tea. It's not bad. Pretty good. Cheers. The next step for the repellent is to strain the leaves, pour it into the squirt bottle, and then we're going to add some witch hazel. I think I'm going to use the French press once more because that worked pretty good last time. Oh yeah, you can smell it already. Doesn't look like I need to add much witch hazel at all. You could also add some of your favorite essential oils to give it a better smell. Put a little lavender in there. There we go, bug spray naturally made. And there we have it. We've got beauty berry juice and a natural bug spray. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share to consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Okay, rat. Get out of here. Go. Go. Go.